Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Michael Trabin's RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Melbourne Prestige motorhome. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by take, taking a couple things into consideration when you're parking. On your campsite, leave plenty of room for this awning to come out. It's quite large for a unit this small. On your off campsite, of course, leave plenty of room for your slide to come in and out. Preferably nothing hanging over top of it, even though you have slide covers. And then leave yourself a nice walking path because the next thing I need you to think about is where your power and water connections are gonna be. Your power is gonna connect all the way out in the rear of your off camp side or your driver's side of your tow vehicle. Then your docking station is gonna be just ahead of that. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you get parked into a good spot, first thing we're gonna do is level your unit. Coming in your entry doorway here. Just to the right is going to be your power leveling system. The Bigfoot system. Simply hit power. Let your buttons dance around for a minute. And you're going to hit auto level. Auto level is going to bring down all your auto leveling system. You'll see this dance around and then your Bigfoot is going to light up when your unit's level. Once your unit's level and stable, we can hook up our power and water. Again, you got this big long 30 amp cord on the back of your unit. Plugs in here. The way these new Furions go on is they plug in to the left, then turn it to the right, put your washer on. And at the end of this 30 amp, if you ever need to plug into a one end, 30 to 15, so you can plug that into a 110. Got your power hooked up, let's hook up our water. Now your whole docking station here is underneath this slide. For convenience purposes, I had the slide open to start out with, but generally you can do this with your slide closed. Come up underneath here, and they made it real simple here. Now at a campsite, we are going to hook up to city fixtures. We're gonna set this at two and six. Once you got that set at two at six, you're gonna grab your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in the unit. Always use this when putting water in here. Grab this, hook it up here to your city water connection. Hook up your hose, turn your hose on. Now, then I want you to go inside. Take this water pressure regulator, hook it up to your city water connection. Go ahead and turn your hose on. Now I want you to go inside and deploy your slides so you can get inside and open up your water taps. Open up your water taps so you got a nice steady flow of water going through them. Shut them off once the water's flowing good. Come around here to your hot water heater. Lift this off here. And then just turn it on here. Inside you can do the settings and I'll show you that when we go inside. Now let's say we're going to go camping and we're not going to use city water. We're going to go dry camping somewhere. Well, in that case, you're going to do two steps. You start with city fill tank. It's going to be at one to the left and six to the right. At the same spot, you're going to go ahead and fill your tank. You can go inside where they check the levels of your, of your battery and black and gray tanks. You can also check the level of your freshwater tank. 
Once that's full, remove your hose, put your cap on, and then turn to normal. Three and five. Now you're all set up for turning on your water pump. You can turn on your water pump here. Um, you can turn it on indoors, but just wherever you turn it on, make sure that's where you shut it off. And only turn on your water pump when you're using potable water. All right, we're all set up with power and water. Let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the outside of the unit, starting here in your docking station. Again, your water pump. That's the switch for this light. Your city water connection. Your black and gray holding tank handles. Your cable hookup. This is your black tank flush. We'll talk about that when leaving and dumping your black and gray tanks. Again, your fixtures. The other fixtures are to winterize and to sanitize the unit. Sanitizing is pumping in soapy water and winterizing is pumping in the antifreeze. Out here, also an outdoor shower. Your low point drains. An area to run down your water hoses so you can close this whole area off. And there's where you'll hook up your sewage hose. Back of the unit again, your power. There's your backup camera. We'll continue down your off camp side. You get access to the back of your fridge. Your storage and your generator. We'll start that up here for you shortly. Coming around to the campsite. You've got your big power on him. We'll run that back in. More storage with a quick connect LP. Got a set of grill out here. You also have your, your propane connection here. This is a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace, steer clear of that. It will get hot. And make sure nothing's ever blocking it. Access to the back of your fridge here. Storage here. Again, your hot water heater. Told you this is fridge access. Let me make sure what it is. So this is actually an access panel to the, for uh, text to get into the motor for your slide. That about covers everything on the outside. Let's go take a look inside your unit. And here will be your house batteries. To the left here is where you turn that on and off. Main power. Here's your awning control. Your speakers, you can make them inside or outside. Your power step. A couple things on this power step. And here's your awning light. On this power step, See how it closes when you close the door. The biggest thing is to be patient and wait for it to come out. Going in, but especially coming out because we want to step right on out. Let's talk about your awning. Your awning is just about all the way out. I'm going to press the button for out. And you see it stops on its own. We'll run that back in here. Get that awning light off. Also up here you have your 110 and your ceiling lighting. Alright, once we got our awning in here, we'll continue the tour. Again, as you come in the door, your auto leveling system. You also have your fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone is camped with you. Knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. Close our unit up. Show you there's your ceiling lights. So to open these cabinets, underneath here's a little metal last. Just press on that. Press on that, and that's going to release it. I uh, guess. More accent lighting underneath here. There's your television. And here is some paperwork for you and your remote. I'm gonna run over this Connex TV real quick for you. Some people call it Connex, some people call it Connex. So 
So you're on TV mode right now. So we're going to take and go mode. We're going to switch from TV down to three different HDMIs you can hook up. You can pair your Bluetooth to it. And we can go FM radio. And FM radio, remote here. Zone B is outdoors. Again, change your mode. Back up to TV. Change your volumes. Let's pick a different channel. Here we go. Hard to pick up anything on the inside here. But there's that working. Self-explanatory microwave. Down here you do have a stick lighter uh, gas stove. So you turn this up to light and use a stick lighter to light it. Your Norco fridge. Let's turn that on. So auto means when you're plugged in, you're running off electricity. As soon as I unplug that, that would switch over to gas. Oops, hold that down. Switch from auto to gas. Oh, here we go. Touch button over here. Or electricity, gas. If your gas is off or low, that'll blink. Here's your temperature settings. And there's a fan for the um, freezer. Down below that on the wall floor here is going to be your access panel to your breaker box and fuses. Got a handful of 15s in there. Highly recommend having some of those with you when you go camping. To the right over here on the floor, close to the floor, is your 12-volt carbon monoxide propane detector. That is always running off your battery. So if you're going to be gone somewhere, um, make sure that you keep your battery charged up because this is going to be running off your battery even when you're boondocking. Up here on the wall, some more lighting and your thermostat. Let's turn your AC on here. That cranked up rather quickly. Shut that off. You see that shuts off quick. Now if I turn the heat on, crank that up, your heat kicks on. You'll notice when I shut your heat off, it's gonna take a few minutes for your fan to cycle through before it shuts off. Coming into your bathroom, wanna make sure that you have this bungee cord back open for travel. A little plumbing to maintain. You are bouncing a house down the road. Keep an eye on that. Back here, a bath light and fan. Hand crank that to open. And here's where you'll turn up, set your hot water temperature. You have off here, there's regular mode. There's eco. And here's clean. I'm going to try to find you more information on the Trauma Aqua Go. Can you hear into the dinette area? This will come forward and fold down. Use your two hands. Take that and set it up underneath here. Put your back cushions on top. And that'll set your, uh, give you another sleeping quarters here. Up top here, you do have a roller shade, lighting, USB ports, 110, and a ladder to get up. All of your basic uh, Mercedes controls up here. On dash, your reverse camera will be on there. That about covers everything in here. Let's act like we're getting ready to leave the campsite. So what I like to do is walk around and shut off my main lights first. All the lights are off, all the it out. Doors and drawers, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's gonna impede your slide from coming in. Make sure your vents are closed, especially your hand crank ones. You may have forgotten about opening up. Set this table back up here. Now 
Nothing's in the way of our slides now. Come back up here to our control panel. And hit retract. Nice to hear above your fridge. Let's talk about your control panel. So up top is where we'll start your generator up. Go outside and show you that running real quick. Wait for your step. Cummings purring like a kitty. I'll shut that off. So here's where you turn on your inverter. Here's your slide control. We'll run that in just a second. Here's where you check your battery level. Your fresh water. That'll tell you when your potable water is full. Your black and gray tanks. Here's where you turn on your tank heaters if you're in inclement weather. Here's your water heater. And then here's where you turn on your water pump if using potable water. Let's go ahead and retract your slide here. Again, doors and drawers. Make sure all your doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's going to impede the slide from coming in. Slides all the way in. You got just enough walking room here. We shut off all of our lights and leave the unit. Now you exit. Make sure you shut off your main power here. The step will stay on. At this point, we're going to unhook our power, our cable, and our water. We're going to hook up, or we're going to drive up to our dump station. Now at the dump station, park accordingly. Your dump and everything we need to work with is going to be right behind your rear tire. Once you arrive, first thing we're going to do is dump our low point drains. Open up all those, get all that drained out, hook up your sewage hose. Put your sewage hose is hooked up, 10 foot one comes your convenience pack. You're gonna pull your black tank. Now, one of two things, you can sit and listen, listen to it to be empty or you can have some, someone go inside and press the black tank button to tell when this is empty. Once it's empty, leave that black handle open. Again, grab your water pressure regulator and hook up the hose at the dump station to this tank flush. Reminder, black handle open, turn that hose on. Leave that on for a good five minutes. That's gonna wash all that nastiness out of your black tank. Once that's done, remove your hose, make sure all that wash out has drained, then close your black handle and pull your gray handle. That's gonna be cleaner water, your sinks and your showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out for you. Then you can conveniently and sanitarily store it right up in here. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Melbourne for many years to come. Happy camping.